We would like to acknowledge the Uruguay clan in the Jabagai tribal group who are the traditional custodians of our land, as well as the traditional custodians of the land where you are watching. We pay our deep respects to elders both past, present and emerging. Hi everyone, my name's Simon Thompson and I'd like to welcome you to the Peterson Street Power Station virtual tour for 2020. Now it's been a couple of years since we've opened our home for the Sustainable House Day. The last time we had quite a bit of interest and I thank everyone for coming along and showing so much interest that we had. But uh, yeah, this time we can't because of COVID-19 and we'd just like to show you what we've got, which some of you have already seen and yeah, what other improvements we've made since our last opening. This is my family and we love living sustainably in the tropics. This is our home. So in the tropics, the main battle we have is to try and minimise the heat that gets into the house. So to start with, we, when we first bought the house, we installed a white roof, which reflects most of the heat. Um, and we've also got insulation under that. So that keeps all the heat out of the house. Um, we also have a solar panel system, which is 5.7 kilowatts. And that provides power with the help of a battery under the house um, for all of our power needs in the house. We've got solar hot water system and yeah, we very rarely need to, to boost maybe once or twice a year. So that's quite efficient. We have mostly natural lighting and right through the house we have LED lights so it doesn't use a lot of power. Uh, we've installed security screens since we've bought the property, allowing uh, airflow and we can leave the house open when we go out away from the house and we come home to a cool home. The pool, it has a, a multi-function pool pump, so a multi-speed pool pump, which means we can put it on a low speed in winter and use a lot less power. Uh, recent addition has been a tank. We've added a tank in here that um, we use for refilling the pool and for watering my microgreens. Um, it's only a thousand litres, but we live in the wet tropics. So yeah, that's ample. I've never run out of water and uh, yeah, it's been great. We have food gardens. So we have fruit around the place for us and plants that the animals like. So lots of uh, flowery things for the birds and um, butterfly plants as well. We have an electric mower which mows our lawn. I love it. It's great. It's, um, it never breaks down. It never floods. It always operates. It's great. Um, we air dry our, all our clothes except for in the really, really wet days or wet weeks. Um, in the wet season where nothing really dries, it all remains like a wet towel. And yeah, so we put that on for a few minutes just to, to crisp things off. So this is where all the magic happens underneath the house. We've got a Tesla Powerwall 2, which is a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery. We bought the Tesla Powerwall because it had the, the functionality to support our induction stove, which has a quite a large drawer but I love my Tesla. It just updates over the air and it gets better every day. I love it. We have this box down here, which is our gap gateway backup, which allows us to operate off grid and uh, we can function. It doesn't matter whether the power goes on or off. And we have enough power in this system with our solar to continue without using any power from the grid on most days. Here's a couple of curves to let you know what our power usage is from our power station. The yellow is the sun, the blue, which doesn't look really blue, and the yellow is from the house usage, everything above the line. And then the green parts are the battery usage or the battery storage chart recharge. And the white is what we have used or, or exported to the grid in this case. Most days we don't actually take any power in, so 0.1 kilowatts, which was using to uh, monitor the grid. Our worst day we've ever had, just as an example, just so you can see what, what can go wrong. Um, so this was a day at the end of a long week of rain and very, very little sun. And I didn't turn the pool off, which I usually do. 
and that meant that we ended up using 3.8 kilowatts of power and we had to do use the dryer as well so yeah it was it was just our bad day so here's an example of our power bill this is the most recent one we've got um we have a at the moment it's it's come up to about sixteen dollars fifty uh that's mainly because the feed-in tariff has gone down to 7.8 cents per kilowatt hour uh, up until then we were on zero but also we're using a bit more power during the day because of covid we're home and working from home so using all our apparatus during the day uh, as i said before the the power wall needs or the, the backup gateway needs to monitor the grid all the time so it uses 20 watts at any one time so that's where that comes from and these are the, the couple of examples where we had really really rainy weather and not enough sun and yeah we used a few watts off the off the grid so maximum for a month was 12 kilowatt hours which most houses in our area use on a daily basis so that was we're, we're very happy we're down at this little level down the bottom here so microgreens is a new thing we've been doing since our last opening so in my little tiny three by three shed i have my own little propagation center so i put the seeds on some growing me medium and by two weeks i've got salads or for this case here this is lentils which i put into a pesto which is really delicious the kids love having fresh things that they can come by on their way to and from school and graze and the flavors are just amazing and the great thing about it is that in the tropics it's pretty very problematic trying to grow things because everything tries to eat your stuff before you do and by having it all in a controlled environment means that we get the food rather than yeah, the bandicoots this is our electric bike set up for the weekly shop. We can pedal up all the steep hills with this machine and it's just great. We would love to have an electric car, but unfortunately that's not within our budget at this stage. Anyway, thank you for listening. And I hope that our little story here has encouraged you to get into being sustainable. And if you have any questions, please leave it into the, in the feed below and yeah, we'll look forward to answering any questions you have. Thank you.